Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game Man. We are starting a new series today of Command Modern Operations. Not Modern Air Naval Operations, but the successor to that game. So, let's have a look at the new features, let's look at the new stuff. We are going to start a scenario here from the Steam Workshop. And I want to go for the god everywhere was it? It was over here, Black Tiger 1. So this is a fictional scenario, of course, uh, in two th set in 2015 on the Iranian coast. This is a game where we are playing as the US in war sort of against the Iranians. Um, you can pause and have a look at the text over here. The basic gist of it is that we've got a couple of marines that are embarking from Iran. They are passing by Iran. And we're going to look at the map in a second, in case that is not clear. Um, and sort of the Iranians are starting to to be a little bit nasty with Russian support. Um, and they are pestering US forces. So we're going to try to see what's going on. We start the game uh, not at war against Iran. Uh, but you can basically see, so Iraq is over here. It should load the scriptures in a second. Yeah, there we go. Iraq is over here. Uh, and we are leaving via uh, via basically Basra, I think, down here. Um, should be over here, I think, somewhere. Um, and passing through this this Persian Gulf, uh, where, of course, on the other side of that is Iran, uh, just to the north of that. And we will be trying to get our forces through the straits um, and out of the way over here. So let's see whether that is doable. The scenario is set for one hour. Um, and obviously, probably, we're going to come under Iranian attack. So let's see what's going to happen over there. And let's have a look at our forces and see what we can do. So for those of you who don't know, Command is a very, very graphically sort of not that great, uh, but extremely realistic game about war games, about war games in uh, modern terms. So you have got all of these database entries here. For example, for the F-18, one of our F-18s here has everything. And you can see the climb rate, you can see the cockpit visibility, you can see the very various different weapons it can carry. It's a long, long list. Um, and all many, many different things, including like the visual detection range from the front, from the rear, uh, in various different radar bands, in infrared, various 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 different things including fuel consumption on different altitude levels so i like it it's an extremely complicated uh, or it's a it's a very comprehensive game not necessarily complicated uh, although it does take a while to get around so uh, let's start out with the map settings over here i think what we can do is we can turn turn off the surface sensors um, and i think the surface weapons as well so now we only have two things over here Ooh, what's blue i don't even know what blue is Aircraft range, interesting, okay. So uh, red, the sort of red circle over here is the um, engagement range against air threats and the white uh, circle is the detection range against aircraft. So we know there are a couple of aircrafts over here, over Iran itself, of course, we cannot fly into Iran, we are not at war. So let's see what's gonna happen over there and let's have a look at our assets. So we've got two ship groups and these little icons over here, this one and this one. There is a surface group of six vessels over here, uh, which includes three destroyers of the Arlo Berkey class. Very, very comprehensive. Just like this, this, this design. It's, it's. I think one of the most common American destroyer designs, um, and it's really, really kind of. It's a good ship. Um, they have. They are carrying quite a lot of tomahawks. They are carrying a lot of um, anti-air stuff. So that's nice to see. Uh, we also got a couple of further ships here in this group couple of LPDs so basically you can see a destroyer there, a destroyer here, another destroyer in the front and in between that we've got a couple of marines that are withdrawing basically amphibious assault ships. Um, they don't really carry a lot of weapons, well a couple of rims here that these are very good anti-air weapons so that's nice to see um, but yeah I think these are mostly the ships that we're trying to protect. We've got another group down here uh, which includes a Nimitz class destroyer uh, carrier uh, a couple of destroyers, a couple of guided cruisers, so very, very big ships actually uh, that are carrying quite a couple of uh, harpoons and various different um, ordnances and a couple of supply ships, another destroyer here in the back and this just really, yeah, simply a supply ship. Okay, we also got a couple of aircrafts, I suppose. There are some in the air. There are, of course, a couple of uh, aircrafts on the Nimitz here itself. A couple of MH-60, so that's, I think, the naval variant of the Black Hawk. Yep, does look like that. And a couple of Super Hornets and Hornets, so FA-18 
F-A-18s and F-A-18s E's. So slightly more modern version of that. They're carrying different things and we're going to talk about that in a second here. So basically these guys up here are only carrying anti-mining equipment and a couple of seals. Okay, that's well interesting. We've got a couple of guys that are loaded out in an air-to-air -air setup carrying the AIM 120C. That's a very common anti-air missile. So uh, these are very good uh, uh, anti-air missiles. They're only carrying two of these, which is not great, plus a couple of drop tanks. So they are capable of staying on station for a, sec uh, for a while, so I think that's all right. And we also see a couple of, of these guys are carrying Haputs, so these aren't shipping missiles. They're also carrying the AM120, so as a sort of self-defense mechanism. A couple of harms, these are anti-radiation missiles used against enemy radar installations. Mavericks, these are air-to-ground missiles, uh, guided missiles, harpoons again, and some... MK, so these are just bombs, just unguided bombs. All right, and we also got a couple of F-18s over here again, AMRAMs, Mavericks, bombs. Oh, and a couple of tankers, so that's interesting to see. So these guys can uh, tank, uh, be uh, serve as fuel tankers for other aircraft. We also got a couple of EC Hawkeyes. These are, um, well, as you can see, th these guys are very funny looking planes uh, that are carrying a big, big radar dish, um, and they are very much used as a sentry. And I think, you know what? We're going to launch one of these aircraft here immediately so that we have a bit of a better eye of, of what's going on. And we've got a couple of growlers over here. So EA, so the UR anti-radiation missiles carrying the AARGM. One that I didn't know, but it's good to have them around. So these are electronic warfare, basically. Right, let's look at what else we've got. Uh, we've got a couple of aircrafts here that are buzzing around. And uh, let's start out sort of east going west. We've got a CA, CP Aurora, so you are a maritime patrol aircraft, you are carrying a couple of torpedoes um, and sonar boys, so you are trying, you have a very good sub hunter, that's nice to see. We've got a sentry over here, so an airborne early warning, uh, that I think is very lovely, you're automated so you can't control you though. And then we've got a group of two super hornets here, also carrying the AIM 120, that's nice. And we've got a couple of warriors over here. So you're carrying the Maverick. I don't really know what you're, why you were in the air. We've got Valiants. So you're carrying the Harm Missile. Both of you. Okay, that's all right. And we've got BA. So you are likewise. Let's get you to maximum altitude. So that you are capable of using your sensors a little bit better. Let's make sure that you have your radar turned on. You do. So that's great. Um, so you're going to give us a bit of a better overview here. Valiants, we talked about these. We've got Fangs, which are, okay, attack helicopters. Not sure why you are around, um, but you'll be patrolling up here, I guess. And we've got a couple of more Super Hornets here with an anti-air loadout. Okay, and that's basically it. Okay, so um, let's start um, uh, by having a look at our uh, ships over here. Uh, I suppose what we can do is get you here to full speed so that you are catching up with the carrier group a little bit and I think that's going to be alright and then we're going to start the game over here and see uh, what's going to happen. I think we can expand this here. We know that there are a couple of aircrafts are over here, a couple of Phantoms, so American aircraft that I think were left with the Shah uh, after the Shah had left. So there's a recon aircraft over there, a couple of aircrafts that we don't know about of fighters over here, F-14 Tomcat, so probably all of these aircrafts that were sent uh, by the Americans uh, to war to Iran before uh, the revolution. We know these guys here are commercial shipping boats. These guys here, the yellow ones, we don't really know about yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reroute one of these helicopters here to check that out, what, what exactly these guys are, um, and I think that should be alright. These aircrafts here, I don't think we can check that out right now. We're going to leave him here where he is. You can see he's dropping sonar boys, trying to find submarines. I think in this vicinity. I'm not sure why he's going there, but if the game thinks that's a good idea, I think that's what we can do. These guys are considered unfriendly, but not exactly hostile. So um, we don't really need to be 
too worried about them for now. For now, we are not in a shooting war. So basically, we can, I think, accelerate time here a little bit. See what's going to happen. We should see one of the aircrafts that we launch. We only launch one. Um, turn up in a short while here. Let's see what's happening. Yeah. So we've got the Airways number two. I'm going to send them down here. On again, maximum altitude. And I think loiter speed is fine. And we're going to ask you to turn on your radar dish so that we know more about what's going on over here. We've got a platform classification on these guys over here. F5s. Interesting. So rather old aircraft actually, I would think. Or at least a very small aircraft. This really just seems to be... Yeah. Although it's interesting to see that it can... The empty weight is 4 tons and it can start uh, with nearly 3 times that weight. So that's interesting to see that it can carry so much actually. We've got a couple of S, yeah, yeah, we are seeing, so we are getting more information about these guys now that we have another aircraft in the air uh, trying to find out what's going on over here. So, um, we can also start the 3D view here, tuck view, um, separate program, but you can use that to visualize what's going on. And uh, there's one issue with that, and that is we have sort of God's view, so uh, we can't, we don't really need to just, uh, we, we don't experience fog of war basically. Um, let's get that a little bit smaller and let's just zoom in here and you can see sort of we've got a very nice 3d view of what's going on here in this vicinity so let's take a look at these guys because i think they are very much closing in with what some of these tomcats over here and these tomcats on the other hand are just flying sort of due west to the direction of our sentry which is not great. So it's basically towards over here. I would not like to use uh, my radar aircraft. These are very, very important aircraft. Okay, we've got a confirmation on this uh, ship over here, which is just a tanker, commercial tanker. So that's okay. Um, we can then... Okay, let's zoom in here a little bit because I need to grab this waypoint. Okay, let's do this differently. Let's go this way and simply change course here a little bit. You can see sort of it has shifted. And it's now going towards this ship over here. And that means we should then see what's going on over there. Can you actually use some sort of radar? No, just the target designator. These Tomcats down there um, are starting to look a little bit close towards our aircraft. I mean, this is, this is way within fighting range. I should not close 3D view. Because I think it's useful to have that around. They seem to be coming after our group over here. Are they not? Come on. Yeah, when, when you've accelerated time, it sometimes is a little bit clunky. But it very much looks to me like these guys are coming straight towards us. And this might be the shooting war that, that we are, of course, waiting for because we are sort of expecting uh, them to make some move over here. Let's decelerate time just to make sure that we are sure what's happening over here. A lot of these ships haven't been identified, which I don't really like. But I mean, these guys are very good aircraft. Super Hornets. Let's get you towards military speed. These guys are also at military speed, so I really, really dislike what's going on here. I really, really think... Let's try to gain some altitude over these guys. Oh, come on. Come on. This can't be going good. Stop. They are turning up as hostile now. They've just changed colors from red to orange, and I think it's because we are seeing already a missile over here in the air um, which is murderously close this is knife fighting range and we know now Iran is actually hostile and we have confirmation that this indeed is a shooting war so let's make to, uh, sure that we are turning on radar and offensive capabilities if we can and we likewise need to launch missiles over here and I suppose what we should do 
is just try to file off sort of everything that we've got on these guys uh, to make sure that since we are so so close I think that makes sense we might be losing one of our aircrafts here as we go ahead so let's zoom in a little bit over here and I think we are starting to s see a, um, evasive maneuvers already on our side okay this is this is already immensely dangerous over here uh, look at all of these different exchanges over here look so we've got we are chain we are firing sidewinders off towards there towards them these sidewinders are sort of tracking them I think very nicely actually they have launched another missile this gentleman over here the you can still see it in the air and it's going sort of towards us so um, that is definitely going to be difficult and we're gonna have to see um, how we can nice okay so we have shot them down and they have on the other hand not shot us down so that's actually very nice that was a very good result so let's see what our next steps will be we've got a couple of flankers over here we've got the phantoms over here there are a couple of ships in the vicinity we don't want to fly over Iran itself though so I suppose the next step, it would be great to shoot down these guys, but I think we can't do that really. So I think the next step is going to be to go directly here and try to try to take out these two aircraft. You still have a good number of, of anti-air missiles actually here, so that is good. And I think the next things, the next logical things are to actually start to engage some of the land bases over here. We've got an airbase down there we've got an airbase up here so I think it would make sense to start and, and suppress these guys actually uh, let's start out with the radar installations over here can we yeah we have a couple of tomahawks so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send like three tomahawks towards each of these radar installations from the pick Pinkney, uh, how, or however you pronounce that. We've got a nuclear facility down here. I don't think we want to engage that just yet. Uh, we've got an airbase over here. We've got an SA-5 anti-air battery. Let's try to take that out as well. Maybe from the McCampbell over here. And let's allocate a good number of, of Tomahawks here on, onto the anti-air bases. We've got the naval base. Ammo shelters, buildings, diesel, 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 structure, naval dock. Only a single pier though, so I suppose what we can do is try to take out the piers. So let's allocate a couple of these tomahawks against that. Of course that is an expensive exercise all in all, but I think it's, it's well worth it. Okay, we've got two airports over here all of which consist of many 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 different things so this is the ammo basically down there we've got a lot of aircraft spaces I don't think we can take that out in, t in its entirety and I just lost you so let's see what what we can take out over here if if indeed anything this is a lot of space I don't think there is there's oh, excuse me sorry about that so uh, we just allocated two tomahawks against these two aviation uh, gas centers. There's not that much again that we can do against these airports. Uh, I do wonder whether there's anything against this heliport and it seems like no there's just a lot of ammo uh, so, sorry a lot of tamex space where potentially aircraft could be based uh, but there's not really anything else that we can do. So I suppose what we are going to do is we're also going to allocate two missiles against uh, this gas tank so that should hopefully at least take out this facility a little bit um, and then again I think what we're also going to try to do is take out this airport over here and here I think what we're going to do is we are going to attack these runway access points because if the runway cannot be accessed 
then this basically shuts down the entire thing. So I think this is going to be nice and going to be a good attack against these facilities up there. We've got another airport down here. I'm not sure whether we can reach down there with anything that we've got. Potentially, I mean, these, these Tomahawks do have a very, very long range, actually, but it doesn't seem like we can target this with any weapon uh, that we've got over here. There's another radar installation up here. Maybe we can target this with anything. Bosch Masters, no. Tomahawks, there we go. Okay, we could do it with a cruiser. Why are you only carrying eight, though? ENC. And you've got what? E's. Yeah, I think we're going to simply use... Let's do, like, four Tomahawks here. I know it's a little bit of a waste, but um, this radar installation does cover a lot of areas, so if we can take that out, indeed, I would be very, very happy about that. So, yeah, let's restart the game. And you can see immediately all of these Tomahawks being launched over here. And they do go up in a very, very lovely pattern. The noise is a little bit high, maybe. But, yeah, you can see they are streaming out. And you can also see that some of them are having this little kink here. And that is, of course, to make sure that we are not being targeted. Or that this is generally good practice just to send the weapon not directly towards the enemy because then he knows just where exactly you are or at least what bearing you are on um, and simply to avoid that this is this is a little trick that you can use to to just sort of mask your way a little bit mask where you're coming from so a lot of russian and various different aircrafts really in the air here i would really like to grab these guys um let's go back to cruise speed over here i don't think we need to burn the fuel quite as aggressively we do need to be a little bit wary about all of these skunks there and something and, and whether we can do anything about that. We've got these helicopters. Not really sure whether we want to bring you in any closer. That's alright. These guys here are actually doing it a little bit excessively, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask these guys to come in a little bit more directly. And I think that's alright, simply so... That they're also coming in at roughly the same time because I don't necessarily want them to be too too far away from each other right let's find out what that uh, what that ship is what's going on over here oh it looks like we have actually launched a couple of rims so guided anti-air missiles at some of these aircrafts that were here over here from this carrier group so we should be a little bit more careful about that. I don't think we necessarily need to do that. Well, I suppose what we could try, though, is to see... Oh, uh, we know something about a crew tanker? No, just about you. Four okay. Three important. Who's shooting? Someone over here is shooting. I don't know... Okay, you're shooting at these flankers. Um... All in all, that's okay. You can do that. Don't overdo it, please. We don't have an infinite number of weapons, though. These guys are streaming towards their target. These guys here will basically self-destruct soon. And I think over here we will see that you will potentially take down these aircrafts. And that, I think, would be very lovely indeed. So let's try to accelerate time here. I think speed 2 is absolutely fine. A couple of missiles streaming as at these ASIA 33s flankers, modern Russian aircraft, which are more or less loitering over here. No, 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 they are coming in against us at military speed, it seems like more than 480 knots. That's not that fuel efficient. So, you guys over here, can you start launching against them? Let's start out with a single missile, and we're going to follow that up after that very soon. First missile is to just Throw them off course a little bit and make sure that we are forcing them down, that they are taking evasive maneuvers and basically all of that. So let's see whether that is doable. You can see all of these missiles there flying up towards the enemy. And that is fine and lovely. Let's select the Phantom over here. You can see it's sort of flying this way and there should be one missile up over here, all the way over here. Um, sort of striking towards them, coming on a very downward slope. They should see us very soon, or see this missile very soon. And they're going to... There you go, they're starting evasive maneuvers now. 
Uh, let's pause here for a second and let's then ask these guys here to uh, launch basically the rest of their missiles um, at these targets. And I think it would be great just to take them out, so let's try to do this that way. Good. Yeah, go you know what? You can go to you guys. Can you go to loiter speed? No, you cannot. Okay, you can't go actually slower than that. Let's also take a look at these guys. They are trying to dive away from us and they seem to be a little bit successful at that. Yeah, no hit over there. No hit down here either. But I think these guys are now... Though they didn't really have the altitude to... What are you doing? Are you crashing? Are you crashing already or are you just trying to go really, really low? Well, unfortunately our aircraft have turned around. But I think this is a very good target lock on by this missile on this aircraft and indeed there is a hit there are two hits basically and that means uh, these guys are now fine and dandy you are returning to base you know what that's okay let's turn off your radar not necessarily really required that anyone needs to pay attention to you right these flankers are coming in close towards us so i think it's time at the carrier group let's zoom out here a little bit so that we can actually see the carrier uh, at this carrier to have a look at our aircraft and I think what we're going to do is we are going to grab at least two of these guys here with anti-air weapons. I think there was someone with an anti-air weapon. Yeah, let's grab these two. And let's launch them as a group. It's going to take about a minute or so. Uh, but then you will be able to take on these guys. You here with a Maverick. What's the range of a Maverick? I don't think it's that far. Yeah, only eight miles. It's a little bit awkward to have you up there, honestly. A lot more aircraft down there, and you can see our Tomahawks are starting to stream onto these bases. Uh, which definitely is nice. Can't really see the missiles coming towards this raid installation. Oh, it's probably these guys down here, right? Yeah, sort of funny route. I suppose I would like you to take a little bit of a different route. So that you're not passing quite as closely to these ships there because they might have AA and that might be able to take out these there we go this flight is up and active let's send it this way you guys are still coming home I think that's gonna be all right and you are Coming up and potentially engaging them over there. That's okay. Right, yeah, fantastic. Lots of Tomahawks here. You can see them coming in very, very low. Trying to be sort of sneaky on, on the radar dish. Um, against the enemy installations up over there. So let's zoom in here. And see what they're going to do. I think we're going to see a lot of hits over here. In just a couple of seconds. Potentially against the taking out these radar installations and at least the AA as as way too loud all need to Okay, let's see whether it's gonna be better this way. Right, so these missiles are still streaming in. Where, where exactly are you going for? Naval base. Oh you're going for the pier, okay. We are seeing some surface-to-air missiles that are being launched in this vicinity. I'm um, not sure what is spotting that, we could find out, uh, but they're probably going to engage some of our Tomahawk missiles here. Uh, but all in all, it seems to be a little bit late for that. I think we are seeing that a lot of these guys are being taken out too. There is another mobile installation up here, and it seems to be an IHawk battery, also an American battery, uh, that apparently has been set up at some point. But again, we are taking out a lot of stuff over here, so uh, that I think is very nice to see. Yeah, and these guys are doing a lot of damage over here. And that I think is very good. Yeah, 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 lovely. I think that's okay. Right, let's make sure that we're not missing anything else. Uh, we are sending you up here. Can I ask you to go to military speed, please? and potentially actually start to engage these guys up here. So let's send you a single missile like so, and we are gonna to need to turn on our radar so that we can actually launch that missile. 
sure why you're turning a little bit south, but I think soon she should... Yeah, there we go, that's the first missile. What on earth are you doing? Don't, don't weave around like that. I want you to engage there. Actually, that some of our missiles there are starting to engage as well. I think we did a lot of damage here. Although we are seeing, starting to see more AA batteries over here, but I think all in all we did the damage that we needed to do. Up there at least. Right, one of these flankers has been killed. I don't exactly know what we could of course look at the weapons endgame over here. And it's the AA 120C that was launched by one of our aircraft. And over here, yes, another hit. So you can see all of the results that go into that. Um, basically, these guys have a very high, high um, active radar. You guys can loiter. Um, and these guys have a very high probability to hit, usually. Uh, but it sort of boils down very quickly once you start to see. And what exactly is coming in there? Uh, so all of these uh, different different defensive maneuvers and all of that. So I think that's interesting to see. You know what? I'm not sure whether this is truly the area where we need to look for for the submarine. Let's try to expand your search pattern here a little bit. Maybe like so. Yeah, I think that's going to be alright. Still a lot of missiles coming in towards this radar installation up there. Yeah, and you guys are coming home because you've basically shot all of your missiles. That's okay. What else have we got over here? We've got you. Anti-air loadout. Okay, that's alright. You are just trying to relax and you've got the harm missile. So I'm going to send you up here as well, and we're going to see whether there's any active radar missions coming from this vicinity that we can sort of suppress. Most importantly, to mean that we are taking out this radar here. Didn't we have someone else who's got harm missiles? Yeah, you do. Let's send you all the way down here, and try to take out some of these installations there. And that should be okay. Good, so very good first approaches over here, and let's see whether there is anything that we can attack over here. Well, doesn't look like it, there's nothing that is emitting anything. Not even the control tower? No. Maybe you've also got more, that's interesting. Target is not radiating. Very little down here seems to be radiating. Yeah, these guys are not active. They're basically... Let's make sure to mark this here as hostile. They're flying over there. Hopefully you're going to take it out. They might have some defenses over there. Let's accelerate time a little bit. Oh, anything that we're seeing over here? These guys have emitted a long time ago. Doesn't look like they're doing that anymore though. Bring you here and then sort of fly along this path. It's all upstream towards the enemy there, that's nice. And you are sort of defending over there. A couple of aircraft here, they're not really danger right now. We've got about 30 minutes in our scenario. That's actually already a significant time. I think we could attack anything over here, you know. All of these, these ships here are a little bit dubious to me. We don't really know what they are. 
Could be civilian traffic. Could be enemy. A couple of power plants and, and uranium production. So we don't have... We don't currently have any... Uh, any mandates to attack them and, and, and just actually start a shooting war here. But... I'm certainly going to take out anything that is actively threatening us right now. The nuclear facilities aren't doing that right now, but I feel um, since this scenario is broken down in a couple of episodes, um, I think that might indicate, at the very least, some of you really love to see what all of these guys are. They're so clunked up together, they might very well be a fleet of sorts. We have helicopters, we do. It would be lovely to take out this aircraft over there. I don't think we can. Is there anything that could target you? Like an extreme anti-range anti anti anti-air missile. No. You supposedly have this range, but I don't think that's real. I think it's mostly an autopilot. You're coming down here? Is there anything that is emitting over here? There's not. Not over here either. Not over there. That's interesting. So, so far it's only two aircraft and a couple of ground installations up here that we have taken out. No big contact change or anything like that. Let's try to goat them into attacking our aircraft here. Stop, that wasn't a weapon endgame. Oh, Tomahawk Impact, so that's over here against this raid installation. It seems to have gone down. So that definitely is nice. We didn't need to send four over there, but you never know whether they have some in the air. Nothing over here. These guys could still try to bother us. And it would be good to get some intel over these ships. What have we got in terms of air that we could start? Air fire. Air cruder. Okay, let's start at Seahawk here, and that we will bring closer. Maybe have a look at some of these things. Find out there. We haven't seen this submarine yet. It's not necessary that we do need, need to see it, but... Okay, let's bring you here. 24 minutes to go. Of course, we are accelerating time like crazy. Lots of aircraft over there. We've got these Super Hornets. With only three missiles left. But you also have at least one. So, we might be able to do something over there. There's the helicopter over there. That's okay. Let's go for crazy speed. And be ready to bring that down. No contact changes or anything. No, looks pretty quiet for now. I mean, all of these guys are coming close, uh, are coming in. And this mainstay is spying on us all the time. Definitely no submarine spotted. Helicopter is coming in closer. We'll have a look at some of these ships. Oh, we know this is a fishing boat. Okay, good. Good for us. Another fishing boat up there. And so now it has concluded. Okay, final score is zero, really. Uh, we have taken out a couple of, of guys on, on their side. So Iran has lost two Phantoms, two Tomcats. 
couple of radar dishes, a couple of buildings, two flankers. So six aircraft balls against no aircraft loss on our side. So honestly, I think it's, it's a little bit better for us. But yeah, so this does give us a, a first view into this scenario. I think the next ones will be escalating much more quickly. Um, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching guys, do leave a like and all of that if you want me to continue this, um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye!